today is November 10th. Headed to work, another day, another dollar. You know, um, 17 more days will be my 27th birthday. So 11, 27. I'll be 27 years of age. And <clears throat> excuse, excuse my loud bus. This is how I get to work, okay? This is how I make my living. Work. You say, what do I do? Oh, I, um, I'm a licensed massage therapist. You know, therapeutically professional out here in Illinois. Okay. But anywho, I digress. What I was saying was 10 days. 17 days. <laughs> I'll be 27. If this ain't a golden birthday, I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's what they call it. A golden birthday. Whether your birthday on the second and you were two, you had a golden birthday. Okay? But anywho. 2016. What a time to be alive. Can y'all hear me? What a time to be alive. But anywho, um, it's, it's amazing that I've seen 26 years and counting. <laughs> and I'm still on YouTube. I'm coming back. But who's been working has been me toward what my own goals to become um, a more successful entrepreneur right okay so uh, baby steps up I work at Lux so you gotta build you gotta start somewhere I'm starting somewhere and you know what is this year two this year two two years that I've been licensed and professional straight out of Everest yeah, remember that commercial? Oh, yes. That is the reason why my black ass got up off the couch and went to school. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, the irritating one. Yeah, the one that talked to the screen and said, hey, you there sitting on that couch. You're not doing anything. Your life is just passing you by. And whatever else he says, captivated me. I was like, you know what? I'm not doing anything with my life. I need to get off this couch <laughs> and be somebody. <laughs> okay, but anywho, uh, yeah, I did that. It was crazy. I remember that day like it was yesterday. My niece was a baby. I had asked her, I said, Yanni, should TT go to school? As a baby, you know, she couldn't talk, but she could say a little something, something. Me and her, we got this connection. It's an auntie and niece thing. But um, she told me, yeah, and I called that number. And I went to school, I mean, I went to orientation. It was over. It was over there. I enrolled, I was, um, I was, uh, I was able to go financially. And I didn't have a choice. I ain't have a choice. Cause at the time, I had, I was sick. I was, I had just came back from Atlanta. I used to live in Atlanta. And I got sick, with pneumonia. And shut down my whole, shut down my whole shit, you hear me? So, <laughs> I had to come back home to my original doctors and get well. Atlanta helped me out, no doubt, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> only your doctors, your your doctor that you go to where you currently reside is actual health help in my, for me, me personally, with my condition. So, I had to do that, and I was home for a while because I was down, not working, because I had just uprooted, been in the hospital. I was in the hospital for about two weeks, but, but I'm better, I'm, you know, God is good, even though I ain't sometimes, you know, but, uh, <clears throat> that, in a nutshell, is why I went to school, and, you know, I'm still doing the thing, I'm continuing my education, which is a struggle, but what ain't, you gotta struggle to get somewhere, huh, hello, anybody, anybody hear me? 
uh, but I can wear my mouth all day. <sighs> it was just no choice at that time. I was in my mama's house on the couch, supposed to be grown. <laughs> that ain't. That was my mother. I couldn't see that. It was getting. It was too. It was too much. It was. Uh uh. Nah. -uh. Love my mama. Love my mama. But uh, you know, any female can tell you. Sometimes you know your mama and you. You won't see out of. So, you know, but it love and love and in, in, in all of it, you know, love my mama to death. Who will mess somebody up for my mama? It's me. Okay. Yeah. My sister, my niece, I, I the, my auntie, my granny, I, I mess them up. I'm just saying, I'm just being polite. But, uh, what else? What else should I update you to on? Um, my hair is long. I'm about 327. I'm a licensed therapist. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I put the hair as long in there, like it was nothing. It ain't for real, but it, it look good. Y'all wanna see it? Y'all wanna see it? Hello? No. Don't mind the four head. Okay. I didn't ask for it. Just like I asked for a lot of things, but that's on me. So, anywho. Um. That's it? That's my hair. See that ponytail? Yeah. Uh, this is year five. So, I like it. I'm sticking to it. I'm not cutting it off. Is it easy to maintain? Yes. I just get up and go. Do I wash it? Yes. Every every month, every other month. Um, how often do I get it retwisted? Not often. I don't like my hair done. So, hence, that's why I got dreads to begin with. Didn't like my hair getting done. I wasn't a fan of getting my hair done. Uh -uh. But, dreads worked out. They're working out. Um, what else? I think that's all for my randomness today. But if I think of something else, I swear I got Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna be uploading any requests for a topic or something you want me to elaborate on. Pertaining to me, um, don't ask me about nothing that I ain't got nothing to do with. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, if you got to do with um, who my president is currently, mm -mm. just watch TV. <laughs>